Ready for our 30 day beef, butter, bacon, and egg challenge results? Coming up. I'm James. And I am Emily. And we show you our actual weight loss journey with the keto lifestyle. Make sure you check us out on Instagram and Facebook, but most importantly, don't forget to get ready. Set. Keto. All right, it is May 1st. And back to normal. Back to normal. Emily's done had a creamy. Yeah, it's so good. So good. All right, so before we go, mm -hmm. before we start, uh, we did our weigh-in video on Saturday. We did. And I must confess something. Mm -hmm. I broke with some cashews. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then kind of went on a cheese binge on Saturday and Sunday. Yeah. Not going to lie. It, it was just, I just felt over it. Um, and I said, I'm going to hold strong. I'm not doing that. But we had company Saturday. And our wonderful friends brought me blueberry muffin keto break. So there you have it. Yeah. Well, anyway, Saturday I was actually up a pound. Mm -hmm. And that was before the cashews and all that and the blue and the cheese mm -hmm. and the blueberry. I only had a little bite of the blueberry keto break. Mm -hmm. But I was actually up a pound on Saturday. Mm -hmm. And then when I weighed in, I'm actually back down that pound. So, so Here's my total weight loss, and it's going to be a side, it's side by side mm -hmm. from what we had prior. Day one yep. to now. And though it might seem disappointing, remember, I'm towards the end of my journey. So I'm down a total of 3.4 pounds. It's not disappointing. Although I do feel like overall a takeaway mm -hmm. about you. About me. About you. My opinion is... Over this past month, I have noticed a difference in how much he eats, so the amount of food, and... It's been less. In the OMAD, where he's eating more often, but less food, and I think that may have hurt you, honestly, because our typical diet is very meat-based. Correct. I, yeah, I went off of the OMAD during the beef, butter, bacon, and eggs mm -hmm. because I had a hard time eating enough beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. Right. Well, first off, I'm already at a big disadvantage because I don't like eggs. Yeah, that's all right. So that's a, that's a problem <laughs> when you don't like, you know, a big chunk of the food source. So that, right. So that left me with beef and bacon. Yeah. And both butter, of course. Mm -hmm. But I ate less. And I, it could have just been mental, but yeah, I feel like that hurt me. And I was having, I was eating like a beef stick during the day and things like that. And I was breaking my fast early because I was just not able to sit down and eat the okay. amount of food that I would normally eat on OMAD mm -hmm. because just because, be, because. <laughs> <laughs> so that was my takeaway about you over the past month. If you want to go back and watch, you can see the, like the, the percentages that we had. And that's according to our smart scale, which sometimes I don't know how smart that is. All right, your turn. He, his age went down. My age went down. It was saying that I was older than I am and it's still saying I'm older than I am. <laughs> but that's, it's in a step, it's a step in the right direction. Okay. So how much do you weigh today? 101, or yeah, 101. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for asking. I am 201.8. Okay, so I feel like mine are disappointing too. No, like, they're not. Yours are better than mine because you are smaller and have less to lose than me, but yet... I can't help but to think that, but I'm still happy with it. I'm still going to be happy with it, and I'm still happy that the month is over. <laughs> we are very happy the month's over. And... Today, I am 146.2, so 4.4, and I'll she's, show you the side-by-side -side of day one to today. She's down 4.4 pounds, which is better than me. Mm -hmm. And on Saturday, I did have a small piece of the blueberry muffin keto brick. And then Sunday, I had cheese. Cheese. And it sent me a 
big fat no. Why? Bathroom. Bathroom, bathroom, bathroom. Cheese, glorious cheese. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was not a good idea. But I, I did weigh in today, and it didn't affect me and make me go up, so. Well, good. I'll take it. But it did affect me in other ways. All right, so moving forward, uh -huh. what are you going to do? Eat keto. Keto for the win. I thought, great, we have hamburger in the refrigerator, and we have pork belly in the refrigerator, and we're going to end up having burgers for dinner. <laughs> we're still going to have beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. It's just a mental thing that says, hey, you don't have to have that. No, I'm like, no, no, no. So I made ground beef, and I added mushrooms, and I added cream cheese, and I just added spices and made kind of a taco dip for pork rinds. And then I had a raspberry cheesecake keto chow that I have been dying to try. And it was amazing. She had it in the form of a creamy, the ice cream. Yes. And absolutely amazing. I wanted it all to myself. Mm -hmm. But I did do at OMAD today and I had that and the, the creamy. Right. I was happy. So moving forward. I'm just happy. I'm happy it's over. Moving forward. We have a month uh -huh. A month from tomorrow, we leave for our cruise. Yes. Or we'll be on the plane to go to Houston. Yes. I have two pounds uh -huh. to lose to meet my goal of being down in 199. Mm -hmm. and, and I have 1.2 pounds. <laughs> so that's our May goal. I feel pretty confident that I can do it. Our May, My May goal is to get back and function, go a little bit from functional fitness back to weightlifting. Yes. I want to get back a little bit more to weightlifting because everything I've been doing is functional fitness as yeah. far as working in the yard and shoveling and doing all that kind of stuff. Yeah. I'm ready to get back on a workout routine. Mm -hmm. Even though lifting the heavy weights again might start, might stall me mm -hmm. as far as weight That's loss, right. I'm okay with that because I'm ready to work on, I'm ready to work on, I still look like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I still have to turn into the hawk somehow. Right. And I don't know how to do that. You know what my goal is for me? What? Getting tanner and losing that pesky 1.2 pounds you know what? off that scale. I want to be under 145, and my scale will maybe tell me I'm not overweight anymore. You know, exactly a year ago today, we started the May, the Beef Be With You Challenge, where we did beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. We did. Last year. That was the May the Beef Be With You Challenge. We did. And we did that. This was our third go on beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. Mm -hmm. And I will say, I am not. I don't want to speak for her. This, uh -huh. this is the last go round. This is the end. This was the trilogy. I could see doing like a week of it just to make things simple for a week. Mm -hmm. And for that reason only. The next time we decide to do a challenge like this, it will be just carnivore. Oh, I like carnivore. It would be carnivore. With keto chow? Yeah. That's not carnivore. It can be. Anyway, beef, butter, bacon, and eggs for us has ran its course just for the fact that there's other ways to challenge yourself. Like, I'm not going to keep doing the same one because that's actually starting to get boring to me. Yeah. I'm done with it. How about the sardine challenge? No. Egg challenge? Absolutely not. <laughs> bacon and egg challenge? No. no Waffle challenge? No. No cabbage soup challenge. No... <laughs> None of that. We are keto, but it would be carnivore. I will do carnivore challenge. I'm mm -hmm. not, not against that whatsoever. And just maybe just doing challenges where we remove stuff such as dairy and things like that. Or active challenges. Active challenges. This, you know what? We'll just go right into the, right into the, uh, the weight loss challenge or the weightlifting challenge for me. For me? Mm-hmm. Getting Act buff in May. Active, yep. Yeah. Yep. Getting beach body ready. <laughs> All right, I guess that's it. You know what? We are not the only ones doing the... We are done with the beef, butter, bacon, and egg challenge. Uh-huh. But Dustin and Chandra over at Keto Simple, they just now began their journey. They did. And we are going to do an interview with them here within the next week to see... Ooh. To check in with them and see how they're doing. Yes. So if you are... Fascinated by beef, butter, bacon, and eggs? Go check out Keto Simple because they just begun their journey. Today. God help them. <laughs>
Make sure you comment below and let us know how the month went for you. Did you stick to it to the end or did you quit? And if you didn't quit, put your results down in the comments below. That's going to be it for us. Thank you guys and we will see you soon.